Hello, my name is Frances Ruan. I'm an honorary fellow at Trinity College Dublin and a research affiliate at the Economic and Social Research Institute in Ireland. And I want to talk about my chapter with Louis Brennan in the new Columbia University Press book, Rethinking Investment Incentives. Our chapter is called A Holistic Approach to Investment Incentives. In it, we look at policy towards foreign direct investment from the viewpoint of the host location. And that location might be a country or a region or a city. We emphasize the benefits to a host location of formulating its FDI policy holistically as part of its overall set of economic policies rather than as an add-on to these policies. In my talk, I will outline our reasons for recommending a holistic approach and in the companion piece, my co-author Louis Brennan will provide you with a picture of what our approach involves. We start by recognizing the inherent dynamism at play at local and global levels. Locally, we see that individual locations have their own inherently dynamic growth patterns. These patterns reflect their economic fundamentals, their recent policies, and indeed their history. Consequently, FDI policy needs to evolve as the location does, so that even if the outside world had not changed, a policy that was suitable 20 years ago is unlikely to be appropriate today for that location. Globally, we also see inherent dynam dynamism in the nature of globalization itself. For example, we've seen a rapid period of FDI growth over the past two decades, but the scale and form of this growth cannot be assumed to continue indefinitely. Consequently, a host location needs to be able to adjust its FDI policy in response to these changes. In our chapter, we argue that this local and global dynamism calls for a holistic approach to FDI policy. We propose a framework that can be used for, by any location seeking to create a robust, rational FDI strategy. Our framework, which Louis Brennan will discuss, incorporates two key elements. Firstly, a set of design principles, and secondly, a structured evaluation process. For the remainder of this talk, I will explain how a holistic approach can deal with this local and global dynamism by ensuring two things. Firstly, that FDI policy is internally integrated, and secondly, that it is externally compatible. A holistic approach ensures that FDI policy is internally integrated into a local location's overall economic policy. For example, FDI policy must be developed alongside policies relating to trade, investment and innovation. This means that FDI policy should not be based simply on what other countries are doing or indeed on an opportunistic response to globalization. In fact, a failure to fully align FDI policy with overall economic policy reduces the potential gains from FDI and raises the possibility of potential losses and of policies being in conflict. The policy must reflect clearly what the host location wants from FDI. This means addressing key strategic questions in relation to its investment incentives, such as, are current or planned incentives aligned with how the location is developing and with what it can get from available FDI. So, for example, how do the incentives relate to developments in its domestic small and medium-sized enterprise sector? And secondly, do the incentives help to align the location's timeframes with those of potential FDI investors? For example, where resource exploitation is involved, do the incentives help to mediate agreement on differences between the intentions of the locations and of the investors? A holistic approach also ensures that FDI policy is externally compatible by reflecting three considerations. Firstly, how the location is integrated into the global economy, for example, through its trade and investment flows. Secondly, the changing supply of FDI the location faces, which in turn depends on competition for investment and on the particular motives of investing businesses. And thirdly, what the location's geographic competitors are doing in relation to attracting FDI. For example, are they using policy to attract particular multinational business functions, such as research units? In summary, our holistic approach involves mainstreaming FDI policy in overall economic policy making. In the companion piece, Louis Brennan will flesh out how we think locations should go about designing and evaluating their incentive systems to make them holistic. I hope you will enjoy watching it and in reading our chapter.